when you enter into a power spot like this one there is a branch in the road you can either go to the tonal side or you can go to the nawal side in the hillside here there's a lookout tower that was created from stacked rocks and it, it defines the warrior who would be observing who went in which direction and those who were appropriate to which side. The sorcerer's side is only marked with subtle rock placement. There's no big arrow, there's not even pictographs or rock art. The sorcerer's side is only seen by other sorcerers through the placement of very subtle keys. These rocks are like keys placed over time when you enter in to the sorcerer in the wall side. So when you find the center of a power spot, that means that it radiates out to infinity. But to find the center is often a surprise. And other sorcerers have usually marked it with stones. And you might not see it right away until you enter into the space and then that center appears. And that's the case with this. There are various um, areas then marked by other sorcerers for their directions. I'm taking you over now to the Western Woman's Spot on this power deck. So this is the Western Woman's Spot on this power disc. She's marked it in various ways. You can see the stone in the tree. That's a meditation viewing device and here's where she does her magical passes as you extend out here you'll notice that there's stones that are shaped like round discs these are ceremonial discs that are throughout the canyons here they are usually marked with a center stone and they have a round disc formation it's as if those were flying discs that then solidified over time when they landed in this vicinity. And these are throughout the, the area here. Take you down to where the river is. Go. This is a very important area because it marks the four directions. And what is interesting is that the stones here are always in flux. So although we'll mark them, we may come back and they have been moved. We wonder, is that a huge water current or is the land itself moving them? Hold on. Go ahead. Center and the north, south, east, and west markers. Center, the northern marker, the western marker, the eastern marker, and the southern marker. I'm going to show you my particular area, my altar area. So these are keys that we lock to space with after we're done, and then pick them up and open them again. So this here is used for dreaming. This is a dreaming bed. You can see the altar. And when I begin dreaming, it's usually with the head down. Down like this.
to some of my finest art, once I saw this shaped stone, I began to add things to my personal altar here. And each one has significance for me. And they change, but I, I, um, I have marked my, my, my sacred space here. So this is um, my southern place on the wheel. Not my altar area, but where I come with the other warriors to do magical passes. So I'll be here on my southern area doing passes. They'll be on the western, eastern, and northern. And what you want to do is you look and see how to manicure and clean if you haven't been here in a while. So I'll, I'll notice that, that certain things are not where I placed them or they've been added. But this here is my particular hmm, southern homage. And that has the the beauty that I want to see in my in my spot. So that represents the, the warmth of the south to me. And a sorcerer might choose as they reflect to add the addition of sound, the birds, to their spot. The lookout post was positioned in order to direct people to where we're going now, which is the village site. The village site is separate from the vision quest or the sorcerer's spot, as the tonale is separate from the wall. So you'll see with the village site, the remnants of buildings that were used in the village. So this is not a traditional kiva or a village structure. What this is, is a rock wall that was used to sit in to view the other side of the river where performances of shamanic import took place. That would be where the sorcerers would scale the walls use obviously flames as lighting in order to demonstrate their magical story and their magical prowess. So this area, although I call it the village site, is much more of the, we got the vision in the sorcery power disc that we're going to come back to this area and present our art to the rest of the tribe.